So in this video we will learn how to connect the relative distance using agility. So what we will do is uh, this is uh, my AWS console where we will go to the rate lift. What is the rate lift is this is a data warehouse uh, where you can store your data and uh, after storing it uh, we can processing it and then uh, once we have the clean data we can use the the data to uh, for uh, any visual visualization tool like Power BI or W where uh, you can publish the report. So first of all, <coughs> we'll go to the service Amazon Redshift and we'll create our cluster. So to create in the cluster, there is uh, uh, some step we need to follow. So you can go to the Click, click, click. If, you are, if you don't have any cluster created you will get this option right now and if you have created cluster already there you will have the cluster here so just we'll go and create the cluster we'll use free trial because we don't want to go for payment option so you can give that any cluster name so i'm giving red zip test any name you can give and you can try free you can try free trial and free trial will come with uh, dc2 large having one node and two for cpu and you can give, give the name of your database so by default it is dev so let it be dev and by default it will connect to the port 5439 and uh, you can give the username what do you want it is AWS user let it be it was user only and give the password. Remember this password is so I'm keeping it a view set and then yeah this is the what follow this also permission and yeah this in all our security group will come later here so then create cluster it will take two to three minutes to create the cluster so we'll wait for that time Okay, so you can see that the master password is not valid. Only printable character we have to give in, so we cannot give at the rate and this and all. So we have to change here. If you see my password is it will at the rate. We will remove it all this. At the rate we will remove and use the cluster. So again just saying that invalid master password at least eight character. Okay. 1169 and create the cluster. You can see Meanwhile, uh, we will open Agentic Pro. You can open any client if you have. Currently, I have Agentic Pro, so we'll use Agentic Pro and connect our AWS cluster using Agentic Pro. There is uh, other SQL server also, and then you can connect Agentic Pro. You can connect to SQL Server also using HD Pro. There are many other tools available in market. DB Weaver is also there. We can use DB Weaver also to connect our red zip. That's fine. So you can go here, and we have to to choose. You can see what an all uh, database is supporting. We can you have to choose red zip, and you have to provide. Connection name. You can keep connection name anything. So I'm keeping it uh, Delta from AWS or Delta for Yeah. <coughs> if you are doing the first time, you have to download the driver. If often will come to download driver, just click it and download it. So right now we have I have 
I download, download the software, so it is not asking for downloading software for me. JD is a driver. Now, once the host will be up, that is it. Then you have to to get host name. Let's see if it is available or not. So still it is uh, modifying. You can see it is being created. So we have to wait for that. Meanwhile, we will come here and see what and all information we have to give. Host name we have to give port. You see there it is 549. Database name we already have given database name as Dave. And uh, username, remember, I have given AWS user and then password have given AWS and it was not there. So, no, this time, no, no. Okay. so you have to wait a little more time. You can get it. Let's refresh and check. Yeah, you can see it is available now. You can click here if you go to the property you can see what is your username so user is aws database is uh, dev and then for getting the host name you can see this is the endpoint url so you have to copy this endpoint url and go to the unity and uh, paste it here anyway we are giving this port number and database here you can remove this port number and database okay so all set yeah but we will get error you see then try testing it it is running and finding out trying to connect this host using this username and password but the problem is here our AWS cluster, you see, if you go to the property and if you see here, is it public accessible? Allow instance and device outside the VPC to connect to your database. So, this is disabled. So, we have to enable it because we are not using the same VPC. VPC is a distributed group. We are not using the same VPC. We are using we are connecting using my system, my laptop. So it won't allow. It always will not uh, allow simply. So you can go there and edit the property. Okay. Cancel it. Go to the property. Yeah, we are putting here it publicly accessible and then enable it okay you can use your IP address also here so save it okay so after doing this also it is modifying that uh, cluster so then it will take some time to modify if you see here we have allowed our cluster to access publicly from outside using my username and password so it will do the changes in background and uh, it will restart the cluster once it will restart then we can use it so you can see it is modifying so then it will take around uh, one minute and you will wait for one minute It's available now. Again, again we have to do certain changes to connect here. If you go here, you can see in the security group. If you go to property, we are here. We are in property. If you see the security group here, open the security group. You have to you to allow inbound collection. So that your internally means involved means uh, any connection is coming towards the red shift so that you have to allow. If you go to the security group, you have to go to inbound rule, and you can see inbound rule is I have already given. If you go to it is rule, if it is not there, let's say that nothing is there, you can delete it. 
can create that inbound rule okay cancel and uh, you can see let's see you once you will open you might not get this inbound rule created for a shift so i will just delete this inbound rule for uh, this one red shift save it and i will create the again for you so go to the edit inbound rule okay and have to do add rule yeah you have to search red shift you can see red shift so automatically it will come here your port number tcp ip and then if you from drop down you can do anywhere means from any system you can connect or in custom ip also you can give some ip address from if you say that some of your other system you want to connect you can give that particular ip address and particular ip address only you can connect this receipt but i want to connect from my system so you can see what if you give my my ip it will automatically take your laptop ip address and put here and then save rule okay so this is now if you go here and uh, we already have given the name, driver, host name, port, database. This we have not allowed, so let it be disabled. Authentication is standard, AWS, user, and password we have given. Let's test it. Now, see, you can see that it is connected and successful. Save. Once you save it, close it. This is my other connections. Uh, we are using it. So open it. Now, if you want to, I will let's say that I want to create one table that is a school table. So, right now, this is a database dev. You have to switch because this is many multiple connections. So, you have to switch which company you want. I want to use delta from red shift right now that we have created here and database automatically will come you can check key connection then create table you see here we are using a public schema by default it is public schema so just create the table yeah table and created if you refresh it After refreshing, if you see your table is here. So, right now we have not inserted any data, so there will be no data. So, that's all we can create. We learned how to create the cluster. After creating the cluster, what and all things you have to do to connect this received cluster from PNT Pro. That's all you can use. Uh, very later from here also but uh, admin will not allow admin team will not give this detail to you console login they will not give so they will just give you they will create the user number username password they will send with you so that you can you have to connect with aws you have to connect aws receipt using yeah, that's all on this video uh, next video we will uh, learn how to load data from S3 directly to this table. So for that, 